Hello and welcome back again. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, I have been thinking about you. I have been thinking about my cards and I really felt a huge, let's call it, urge to film this video today and to share with you the wisdom of the cards. Because I know that you like that a lot. I love that so much as well. And I truly missed um, playing around with cards and just not only playing, I don't know if it's the right word, um, but you know, just digging a little bit of that deeper message that might be laying there for me, for you, whoever is watching this video. So perhaps in this video, you're going to find the message that you have been looking for. Maybe it's not gonna be the message, but it's gonna open up something in you or maybe would stop you for a little moment to appreciate life, appreciate what you have in front of you and just appreciate just the words that are flowing into you. So as always, I am transmitting the messages from the cards. So I am just the voice that speaks through the cards. So um, this is the voice that you will be hearing today. And we will do things differently. I must ask you to uh, like kind of forgive me if I am not so fast or if I'm not that agile. Again, transmitting the messages. It's been many months since I touched cards. I just couldn't make time for that. And this video is going to be also really nice. Um, work and reminder to myself as well how to get back to you know to tackle my intuition and how to work with cards we will see how the cards will respond to me as well um it's been a long time so you know things might get rusty sometimes but i hope that this is going to be a really nice like initial start into the um, reading we are going to do things a little bit different today um, we're going to use three different uh, oracle cards combined with um, some tarot cards here and there and i want you to choose not one specific pile but one specific deck and i will show them to you i'm gonna leave timestamps. don't worry about that all will be prepared so that you feel comfortable in um, choosing what's the right for you okay um, before we start uh, I just want to light up the candle I have this candle it's uh, Bourbon and I don't know how you pronounce Bourbon Bourbon not sure not native speaker of course <laughs> and amber so it's like um, very luxurious smell it smells like I don't know look very expensive drink love that um, it smells like an expensive drink that has been spiced up with almost like a liquid amber, um, vanilla a little bit, something sweet is in here for sure, very deep sweetness, it's not like surface sweetness, it's like the, the right sweetness, like the grow up <laughs> sweetness. Yeah, and it has so many different almost tastes in in it um yeah it's it's definitely fall season candle or winter i really love using amber vanilla liked candles in in this time really kind of brings so much of the memories and kind of deepens up feelings around you so i'm just gonna leave it there uh, as you can see this is my beautiful vintage um shelf how you call it commode um and i got it as you know maybe you followed me on instagram i got it second hand um from mozambique so it's hand crafted and it stores all my decks okay so um let's do that uh, i'm gonna show you now the decks that we will be working with um today and also the tarot that i'm gonna mix here and there for you so you can you can hear the know overall messages from different sides um, so 
So you're wondering what's the question? Of course you've read the title of this of this um, video, but I'm just gonna repeat it again so that we stay with this question. Maybe we um, internalize it a little bit. Maybe you can stop here and just ask yourself several times this question. So it gets you in the mood for choosing the deck. So the question is, what do I need to know right now in this stage of my life? So it really applies to all different situations, whatever you are facing, um, wherever you find yourself in at the moment. And maybe it's nothing, you know, maybe it's just daily life, daily routine, or it's been stuck. It doesn't really matter. Maybe something shocking happened. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just internalize it a little bit. What do I need to know right now? What is the message? What is the information? So now I'm going to show you the decks that we will be working with today. And after showing them to you, I'm going to leave a picture of all three of them so you can stop the video. You can meditate. You can just look whichever calls your attention. Doesn't have to be anything specific. Just the first one that kind of catches your eye or a feeling or a wish, anything like that. Pick that one and just move in onto your timestamps. If you want to watch them all, great. Maybe you were attracted to several uh, of them, like maybe all of them, maybe none of them. So maybe it's not the video for you. So be really gentle with yourself and let it in. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the decks. And actually, you see me kind of looking away from the camera. It's not that I'm looking away from you. It's I'm just looking at the sky. <laughs> It's that magical golden hour in the winter time, let's say this way. It's been raining heavily. It's been gray and gray and gray and lifeless all these days. And suddenly it's kind of the golden clouds are coming in and they're floating around and they're just moving so fast and the edges of them are shining like a gold, you know. And it's it looks so ethereal and it's just perfect moment to read cards. Like I couldn't find more cozy moment to read cards. I'm actually gonna insert you the video of the sky, how it looks like. I have my phone here so we can see how <laughs> how magical it is. And again, perfect for cards. Okay, now let's move on to the oracle cards that we are going to be working today. The first one, the first option is going to be the Monology oracle cards. So this is going to be the option number one. The second option is going to be Sacred Earth Oracle, option number two. And the third one is going to be a Sufi Wisdom Oracle. Okay, Sufi Wisdom. So I'm going to show you uh, the picture and uh, maybe short vi videos of all of them. So you choose one, two, three. Again, first one, Monology. Second one, Sacred Earth. And third one, Sufi. Choose one or two or all of them, all of three. And you can go straight into your timestamp. Let's begin. Okay, so the first option is going to be the Monology Oracle cards. And I'm going to be mixing in also Tarot Mukha um, here and there as well. So you can have like more um, overall message, okay, from the cards. I'm going to open it up. I like to keep them in boxes. I don't know, just easy to store. Um, I'm going to keep it here maybe. Yeah, so those are the cards. Monology, very beautiful. I'm gonna have this kind of white thing to place them on because now I don't have any table, anything like that. I have to work with different setting. That's not a problem. Okay, so option number two, what do you need to hear right now? What is your message? Concentrate, concentrate on that. Um, what comes up? Just show us whatever thing. We're open, we're ready, we accept. We decide what we accept how we take this information, really doesn't matter. Just flow in, flow in, this is, this is what we need from the cards. Okay, I'm gonna place three cards in front of me. One, 
two and three. Okay, and we're gonna open them all. And then I'm gonna also mix in the tarot. So the first one, let's see, is this one. Full moon eclipse, conclusions are within reach. All right, second one is new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. The third one is south node, don't let your past hold you back. Okay, let's repeat again. Conclusions are within reach. Bring love into the situation. And don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so far what I sense, it's a very light-hearted um, reading. It's all about letting go. It's all about take it easy. Um, don't be too serious. Don't look into things and... Uh, see what's not there. Um, sometimes situations and people and things that you're experiencing are not that important. It's kind of the main, the first thing is that it really rushing into me, like, I must say this, like, some things are not as important as they might seem at the moment. Or maybe you feel like something has been eating you out and has been crushing you and has been stopping you. It's not that much and I know that it's hard to accept because when we are experiencing problems they seem to be the hardest ones the biggest ones um, so much all over the place and especially if we are talking about the past and what has happened in the past this is when you feel the intensity and oh my god my past has shaped me oh my past brought me this and this is how I am feeling right now this is the fault of the past or someone in the past or maybe it's just something that you're experiencing right now you see it with way bigger eyes than it should be or maybe you're focusing on it too much so this reading says laugh at yourself laugh at situations sometimes let them go they are not as important so the first message that comes in later on i will i will move on let's see a little bit from the tarot as well so that we can um, add something something in in here okay tarot please what do we need to know right now option number one what do we need to know right now also we'll pick three cards okay one Oh, they, they were open. Okay, let's leave them. They were open. It's okay, I'm not gonna look at them. Just gonna feel. Okay, I got them. All right, so what do we have in here? Um, we've got the Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Three of Swords. those are your cards okay so if we were just to interpret these three cards i would say there has been something or someone that you have placed so much hope or work into and then it kind of got shredded into you shed it i know what's the word into pieces like it's it's gone it's it's heartbroken it's not here anymore maybe it's a goal that you have been working on so so much so hard you never reached it and your dreams maybe they fell apart maybe it's a love for someone that did not work out or maybe you imagined someone being different um that they are and it's just not that it was just your illusion it was just your vision towards that person but it's not real it's something not real and this is something quite interesting because i sense there was so much of the security created like oh this is gonna work for sure this is gonna work out i know that this is gonna be the best decision the best person or um, the best plan in my life the best myself the best version of myself and then it's it's not and it really hurts deep it's not that you have lost money or something like that it could be um but it's more deep inside that it's my goodness what have i just experienced and it could be quite interesting because um it really ties up with the message from from the oracle cards that really looks at the situation it might be uh from the tarot cards cards quite um harsh but then the oracle kind of says hey come on it's not that bad really don't complain yes it should happen sometimes it's it's life, you know, welcome to life. Um, dreams sometimes are not meant to be. 
people sometimes are not meant to be so just let it go just leave it and it's quite interesting because you would maybe feel even angry right now saying come on this is so bad this is something that i am feeling and this is i am the most heartbroken i've ever been and how can how can you just i hear those things as take it easy i don't want to take it easy this is horrible this is tragic yes but in tragedy there is also kind of this uh, outer layer that seems to be very thick okay and it kind of a lot of drama in it and then when you look deep inside uh, you find yourself in it um, your your own kind of nuclear and there you are okay and this is kind of the main thing like besides everything you are okay that's quite interesting um if it's about someone because it could be a person page is standing here could be always a person you know when court cards appear like that could be a person maybe don't make high hopes such high hopes for someone it could be also a job related situation because of pentacles card right um could be that you've been looking into something like a huge manifestation at work or uh, improvement at work or with your finances and it's just not there maybe you have been studying working so hard into something so surely surely secure that this is going to be right that this is going to be stable and then it's not it's like bam it's breaking you it's breaking your heart it's it's washing everything away from you it's not there anymore illusions are gone and it's quite interesting thing because when you get card like this um it is interesting because this is a heartbroken card okay this is almost third wheel it's almost someone is there not only you me but someone else sometimes could be some situations like that like the third person or something like this that has influenced the way you are feeling right now at the moment okay could be that could be so many things you know just take what what resonates with you um but what i, I want to say is that it's not the end of the world this card is never the end of the world I would say this card is like a really nice touch to to with reality kind of makes you stop a little bit in your pace and tells you, you no know, things happen in life you know shit happens negative thing happens as well not always butterflies and don't trust everything you see and don't trust you know the success always if you are successful now you might be unsuccessful tomorrow so it's like a really balanced card you know i i really see this as a positive in this kind of reading in this specific situation i see this as a positive because it's like eye opener like finally opening your eyes into the reality and making you more stable person as well not such a naive or dreamy person okay and not holding so much uh, to the past as well because don't let your past hold you back as well it's like if there is something happening in the past has happened in the past don't let it influence who you are at the moment because you know we talk about presence always and this is what is important bring love into the situation as well so even though you're falling down and you're hurted love yourself first take care of yourself never forget to take care of yourself first it could be such a dramatic and difficult situation love yourself first and take care of yourself okay don't forget that you are important here and don't let yourself fall into pieces that you can't collect anymore so that was the reading for the option number one I hope you really enjoyed it. I definitely felt the strength of this reading. It was stronger. I, I, I really liked it. It's something a little bit different, I sense. And you would know what is that in your own personal situation. So thank you very much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, option number two. So this is going to be your message. What do you need to hear right now from the uh, Sacred Earth oracle this is the booklet the box you've seen it already um this is a really really nice oracle very my style and <laughs> personal style so i'm enjoying this one very much as well um okay so let's see what do you need to hear right now what is coming to you just concentrate just listen to it take it light-hearted as well as always don't make big of a deal from this just listen to whatever comes to you what you need what you don't need let it go always always with cards not only with cards with everything in life okay so the first card second somewhere there uh here third one 
Right, so let's see. I'm gonna make some tarot as well, but first of all, I wanna sh I wanna show you the oracle. So we've got this stretch stretch card renewal. Okay, ooh, that's the ah, uh, it's deeper huh? and context. Okay, the so stretch renewal context, stretch renewal context. Uh, the first kind of thought that comes into me is that the next step needs to be taken and uh, going away from the comfort zone might be a good thing. Um, it feels like there is some kind of um, stagnant energy in your life that needs to be released and it needs to be changed with something else. That's kind of the, the, the first message. Um, reading between the lines, maybe uh, also you're a person who takes it as you hear it, okay? So kind of learning to read between the lines in everything in your life could be beneficial. But also kind of understand yourself better. If you are reacting one specific way in your life, there is a lot of kind of inner exploration needed here to understand and ask yourself so why did i act this way what is actually this action hiding what is the real meaning behind it so it's something very deep in here and it's i'm, I'm not going to tell you that this is easy um that this is going to be easy and, and there are so many different situations as well that you might be living in at the moment and so many different people watching this but this is deep thing it's not something um just, you know, easy going. I, I don't sense, even though from the Oracle cards, um, they tend to be kind of a little bit light. But in this sense, like this combination, it's not that light. It's something, something needs to be discovered, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna add um, three more tarot cards so that we can see into different situations that might be happening right now or will be happening or something you just need to hear okay these three mm -hmm. so let's see what do we have in here we have um this is okay the chariot okay page of cups okay and we have um the devil as well that is interesting Wow, well, um, you know what? I could speak about all these six cards for two hours, trust me. And I won't stop, but okay, I, I need to connect and to resume as much as I can in, in one sitting. Um, I see some kind of behavior issues in here, something that needs to be taken care in terms of behavior. Whether it's your own behavior um, or how you see yourself, maybe self-perception, um, maybe your goal setting, maybe the options that you choose or tend to happen in your life. Something from the base needs to be shaken a little bit and kind of changed or moved into the next stage, okay? There is so much potential in here, I must say. There is so much potential. Um, Everything with these cards, like stretch and renewal, those are super potential cards. Like there is huge potential in here, okay? Um, the chariot, the page of cups and the devil as well. So much potential in here and something not used, you know? Something is not used yet. Uh, it could be about you, about the situation that you're in at the moment. Uh, work, people related, yourself related, something self-exploration related. Something has not been used yet. And you need to explore that you have to go deeper i see a lot of creativity happening here as well um because we have the context card renewal card so again how do you renew yourself for instance if it's it's if it's the question about you how do you renew yourself you have to be creative about that you have to find and go out of your comfort zone as well and see how uh you react in different situations where you are less expected to to be in, for instance. So maybe you have to experiment a little bit more about yourself. Maybe you are so strict about things in life that you don't let opportunities come into you. I also sense that there is some kind of um, negative behavior or negative thinking happening about you. So whether it's coming from your own self side or it's coming from somewhere else, there is something 
a little bit like toxic happening toxic that maybe you are being toxic to yourself or maybe you are in the environment that is a little bit toxic and is kind of affecting you way too much uh, and way more than it should um that there is something that you take into you so much of the bad so much of the negative and you kind of don't process it right you just make it stay in you almost okay that all the like maybe it's you're very sensitive who knows like that you take everything in and it just stays there and it's it, it kind of hurts a little bit and has like the tendency of um kind of a little bit of self-destruction sometimes okay so i know that this is very kind of um open way to explain things but um this is kind of the way i see it at the moment okay it's um something needs to be stretched and old behaviors changed to new ones old patterns change to new ones it feels like you are stuck in a spider web um caught just right in the middle um and the spiders are coming in okay sounds spooky a little bit yeah it is, it is a little bit spooky um and you just need to get out of there so feeling trapped could be the feeling of trapped within yourself within a job within a certain situation or relationship whatever it is you know really um something that is not really helping you go and the kind of the kind of the answer here is you basically like i see that nobody is really stopping you but you feel like everybody is stopping you you know what i mean it's not like for instance if you're at a job you want to go somewhere higher better whatever or add yourself um it feels like, oh no, they're not giving to me. Oh no, they're not listening to me. Oh no, they don't understand me. No, no, it's you who doesn't know how to explain that to them. It's you who doesn't know how to express that. It's a little bit harsh, I know, uh, to say that, oh, it's you who is um, kind of making this whole deal. But it kind of is. It is you that if you're not getting that promotion or better money or better position is that you don't know how to communicate that you want it in a relationship if it's failing um the question is do you communicate or do you just expect someone to act the way you want them to act maybe it's about you maybe you're not reaching some specific goals that you have are you sure that these goals are for you really maybe they're for someone else you've seen someone else achieving them and you want them but it's not really for you so it's a lot of questions that you have to ask yourself okay I, I can't make all these questions for you it's it's you who has to sit down a little bit and stretch yourself stretch your mind and stretch your body as this card suggests okay stretch it out and go beyond the comfort go beyond what is usual for you okay because we have two very strong cards in here the page of uh, cups and the chariot is the action very action-based cards and it's about moving it's taking the wheel into your hands and driving through so if there is something that is not really pleasing to you at the moment uh, that is not feeling that it's right for you have to take the wheel and drive yourself away from that and you have to use a lot of creativity i see a lot of potential hidden here a lot of potential for creativity, a lot of potential for um, being on your own. Let's say if there is something kind of a business ideas or something like that or a change ideas, definitely huge potential, huge gains could be. But there is like this very internal card, the devil, that is kind of consuming you from within, being toxic. And it might seem that the devil is sitting next to you. But I would find, I would look for a devil inside me. Who is that devil inside me? speaking his or her words words and just making you stop it's not really about the devils outside that are outside because there always are these devils but it's something more important that is inside that needs to be shut down a little bit you need to stretch that devil and to change it into something else could be anxiety depression problems as well could be addiction problems because this card many times indicates some kind of addiction in terms of abusing something or getting into abusive relationships or patterns or behaviors or just being really conflicted and dark with yourself with your own so just need to change that that language with your inner self and don't look only for the bad outside because yes there is and they might be influencing you and being toxic to you but it's not only that it's something deeper that needs to be scratched out and and basically thrown away some of the things need to be thrown away 
So that was the main message for the ones that have chosen the option two. Very deep message. I really could go on and on with this. Um, but I think, first of all, the first step that you need is to really sit down and you maybe write on the paper um, how you feel, what is stopping you, what is blocking you, and, you know, almost make like SWOT analysis, if you know what it is. It's like strength and opportunities, weaknesses, uh, and so on. So it's something like you have to do with your own like inner map um, to identify what is that is not working, what is what is missing, and what do I want to be in next year, for instance, or next me, where I want to be and how to achieve that. So, so really focusing on that action and creativity here. So that was the option to you. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed your message and we will see each other next time soon. Bye. Hello, option number three. This is Sufi Wisdom Oracle. A little bit of the ASMR moment. I miss ASMR videos so much. Uh, I wish I could watch them. Um, can't really watch them now because I have a baby who is so loud and so active. And almost I don't have that meditation time for watching ASMR, but oh, I miss that so much. And I remember enjoying uh, making them and listening to them, especially listening. Not that much making them, but listening to them. So yeah, okay. Let's get back to business, right? Um, Sufi wisdom. Uh, what is the message for you in here? What do you need to know? What is the important to focus on at the moment? Again, as with all readings, um, cards or things in life in general, take what resonates with you. Take what you accept and what doesn't feel right, leave it behind. Always, always. Um, look for yourself first, okay? This is how you treat yourself good. This is how you have to um, get back the power in you as well. Not It's not in the power of the cards. No, it's, it's in you. What do you let yourself in? Okay, so the cards, first cards. This one is gonna be first. Okay, second. And the third one in here, okay. Okay, so let's open them and also going to add some tarot as well in here. So energy of love. Behold the world through the eyes of love. Oh, that is sweet and what a beautiful card. Look at that. I think this is the first time this card pops out in in a reading here that I'm filming on a YouTube. I, I, I don't recall it really. Interesting. Um, trust your gut feeling. Let your heart lead you to who you are. Love this message as well. Mm. So much self-love, taking care of yourself. Really ties up with what I just said to you before just opening the cards. And we also have heart of the matter. Align life's pathways through the heart. So very heart-centered reading for sure. It's all about love. All these three cards, they speak about love and especially self-love. Growing self-love, growing trust in yourself, growing care in yourself, growing wisdom in yourself, taking care of your physical body, taking care of your mind, uh, and feeling how you feel about yourself as well. Very, very strong cards. Um, yeah, wow. Um, why 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 there is this much love in here do you lack it do you need it do you have so much of it so that you don't know what to do with it i don't know let's see from the tarot cards um i feel so much happening in here for sure but what's all about that love why why it is so important and the cards are falling off no these are not the ones to take um so why, why so much love do you need it? Who doesn't need love, right? Uh, but you have so much to give and no one to accept, but have you ever considered giving that love to you? I don't know. So many questions here. Okay, uh, cards popping out. Two of them popped out. I will leave them here because these ones, they are meant to be. The other ones were not. And some of you might ask how I know. Maybe I will make a video on that as well. How I do work with the popping out uh, cards. 
Could be another idea. Let me know if that's interesting to you. Okay, so we've got the World card in here, King of Swords and the Page of uh, Cups. This Page of Cups is the second time appearing here. Um, and it's not a coincidence. It's just, it has to be this way, um, I felt. This card, Page of uh, Cups, is really strongly related to all these love cards from the Oracle. So, so strongly related. Um, so much world in you. So much world in you. Um, unexplored, yet to find, yet to live. There is so much optimistic energy here, I must say. Like, if the... Some readings are, you know, saying, oh, cautious here, cautious there, might be dangerous. There is nothing dangerous in here. There is nothing that should hold you back. There is nothing that should um, should be thought for a second time or a third time or really measured so much. No, it's just go for it, go for it, do that. It's so strong in here. Like, just, just do it. Um, I know it sounds cheesy, you know, just do it. It sounds simple, right? But it is simple for you. It is simple for you because I feel that you have world in your hands, under your feet, in front of you, behind you. There is so much life in front of you that you need to find and you need to discover yet. So many experiences, very positive experiences, so much love to experience. Maybe that's why so much love was in the beginning because it's there. It's like you have so much love to give, to experience and to dive into love. Um, this card is really nice. Uh, trust your gut feeling. Um, let your heart uh, lead you to who you are. It seems like you are almost touching the iceberg, top of the iceberg of who you really are. Maybe you're just a developing person and you're developing your personality or you're just have undergone through several changes and right now you just feel like okay i just need to reshape myself and to find my final form you are there like touching it that's kind of the feeling that you're almost there you're fully mature and grown up a uh, person who kind of has like a fully shaped on um personality it's like you know what to do you know where to go you know how to love and don't trust anyone saying that not why are you watching this video even? Um, you don't need any acceptance from others, you know, uh, almost like that are going to tell you, oh no, you're doing fine. You know it already, just trust that gut. Uh, and if you felt like taking one step ahead or changing something about your life or saying some things that you haven't said before or done before, um, just do it. Just do it, you are on your right path. You are exactly where you have to be. There is nothing else you have to change. And this is something quite interesting um, about you because this is kind of a rare um, combination of cards, at least in this, in this sense. Many times there is always like an area of improvement, okay? Something that we need to work on in order to achieve. Maybe there is some kind of blockages. That's why, you know, we try to look into cards as well, like to see what are the blockages there and what um, the cards can suggest us, you know, in, 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 in those terms. But for you, I kind of sense it's it's like, no, you you know, you are who you are. You, you know exactly where you want to be in the future where you want to be now, what you want to do, how you want to feel, how you want to express yourself, just do it. Don't let anyone to stop you. Your gut feeling is the one, is the only one that should really matter in here, okay? Um, energy of love. Behold the world through the eyes of love as well. Be gentle to yourself, first of all. Don't doubt yourself, never, never really. And show that love to others because I see kind of very strong charismatic energy in here. Something like an attraction to you, to other people as well and something like an inspiration to other people. So just show that to people. Show who you really are in front of the other people and that will help them as well to be who they are. So through your own example, you're going to help other people. So if you're just hiding in the shadows, you're not going to help yourself and you're not going to help others. Um, very beautiful message as well. Same, heart of the matter, align life's pathways through the heart as well. Do everything from the heart. Um, you are not the person to, to work in a job or 
to live life that has been told that you have to have or you, ha you should live it just doesn't work this way if you don't follow your heart your passion nothing is gonna go out of that correctly um absolutely you must work you must be who you are and who your passion is there is no other way around if you're trying to kind of put yourself in a box that your parents told you to or uh, energies well basically people around you told you to uh, it's it's just not gonna work you you're not this person and you might be absolutely crazy person who has a such a strange uh, way of understanding uh, things in life and you feel like nobody is gonna understand you screw them doesn't really matter doesn't really matter uh, you should at least try it uh, and do it from your heart anything you do do it from your heart um, and then you're gonna be really really successful and you're gonna be fulfilled Easy to say, I know, I know, it's easy to say, do it from your heart, sometimes life is not that easy, I know, I know myself really well. Um, but at least try to find some kind of areas in your life, if not all life, some areas where you can be fully you, you can be totally naked if in front of yourself uh, and live the life that you truly wanted, okay? Like something that is beneficial for you and, and something that you truly uh, dream dreamed of, okay? Um, the world is in front of you and you have to be more strict about that have to be more strict about getting there so um, if you're still struggling to find who you really are what your profession is what your job is what what you really should be or your identity all those things you know self-doubt um, you have to be just a little bit more relying on your mind as well like on your intellect because I see high intellect in here as well not only because king of sword as well in here but the world is like really overall carved and it's also very focused on the mind on the intellect so you are definitely a very capable person with so much potential in here so um do it and what you believe in it's not stupid because you do have wisdom you do have intellect in order to achieve something positive even from the most craziest idea ever really you can do that you have all resources you have everything so if it looks crazy or stupid don't let this kind of thought to stop you from doing things because you would be surprised like i don't know like just making an example i'm, I'm really bad with examples but i don't know maybe you're imagining that you know what i want to quit my corporate job and start candle making business whatever you know because i do have candle there um and everybody's saying, no, this is stupid, everybody's doing that, don't do that, don't do that. I would say, you know, in your free time, maybe not quitting completely the corporate job, try to do that, try to reach it, because I see very successful results, like following your heart, like the passion, the desire of your heart, and making it successful because you do have wisdom and you do you have resources and intellect to make it work, okay? So that's what really matters in here. It will work, it, it, it works already. You can do that. Um, just listen to the gut feeling, not what others say, but what your gut feeling is saying. And maybe your gut feeling is saying that, no, it's it's just not really going to work it. Listen to that as well. Like, really be here when you are listening to your gut feeling. Wow, such a strange thing. It is, it is. Sometimes with a gut feeling, you have to be here as well. Mm, so, like, analyzing that gut feeling. Okay, so it's saying that no. Why it's saying that no? Maybe it's too risky. So, it makes sense because you have to be aligned look for that alignment in here but this is wonderful reading this is so positive this is so full of love this is so full of passion and it works everything here works so i just really hope you will find or you're finding already that path that you who is truly here shining and remember that through through your own example you're going to inspire a lot of other people who are struggling with a similar situation so I really hope you have enjoyed your third option reading. It's a very strong, very positive reading. I could speak a lot about it, but uh, I think you you already know your answer within. It's just taking actions towards it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.